Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Finally, my sex friends and I present our candy collab to you. The participants are Everything Needham, Insanely Creating, Shelby KG, Doliana, Heliophobian Stalls, Lucia's Strange Universe and State Week Creations. Lots of amazing dolls. Today I am going to work with a doll I've never worked with before, Twyla. As always, I start by cutting her hair as short as I can. By the way, this one is disastrous. And I continue to submerge the doll's head in boiling water for a few minutes, because this softens the vinyl of the head and the glue that holds the hair on the inside. Now the capitating my girl is much easier, and from the hole in the neck, I can scrap the remaining hair with a flat head screwdriver and then remove it with tweezers. This time there was a lot of glue and it was a little disgusting and I had to really work hard. With pure acetone I removed the factory paint and then I washed the head well with soap and water to avoid any traces of acetone that could interfere with the layers of Mr. Superclear. I have a little thief at home. He is my dog Pusco, who has been enthusiastic about this project and has been very attentive to everything I was creating. So much so that he decided to choose the hair for the doll. Let's put it that way, because the reality is that he took the one he liked it the most and took it to his bed where he kept it well hidden. When I realized what was happening, I was able to save part of it and use it for this project. I used a combination of techniques, rerouting and hot gluing to make the most of the mode of the hair I had. I was skeptical about whether the hair color would match Twyla's skin tone, but I think the result is good. After a couple of coats of Mr. Super Clear, it's time to start painting with pastels and watercolor pencils.
I think the mole of her face is very sweet, and she has very big eyes. At first, with all the materials that Stitch Week sent me, I had many ideas of what I could do. And now that I realize I haven't talked about my intention with this doll yet, as I said, there were many ideas that ran through my head, but if there is any candy that I remembered with nostalgia, it is probably candy apples and cotton candy. They remind me of unique childhood moments shared with the family, with my mother, with my grandparents, my sister, and then with my husband when we were dating. So I decided to turn this girl into a guardian of those memories. I decided to make a cotton candy girl, or rather a cotton candy seller. Twilight shorter than the rest of the Monster Hikes, and she has that more childish look. And I want to keep her with big eyes, without makeup, and with a smiling appearance. Well, no makeup, but some glitter with pearl X powder. And it's time to get to work with the clothes. First, a dress with this green fabric and some details with lighter colors. I used a pattern from Wrecking Art Designs, although I modified it a bit. In fact, at first I was going to give it short sleeves, but I decided to change it for long sleeves since I'm going to make an apron for her and I want it to stand out from what you see of the sleeves. This white and mint green striped fabric was my inspiration. As soon as I saw it, I knew 
It was going to be an apron. Plus, there were some so pretty miniature colored buttons, which I use on this garment, along with several pink and mint green lace ribbons. I think it turned out beautiful and just as I had imagined. Since there are very small pieces to sew for the neckline and sleeve edge, I use fabric glue instead of seams because this makes the edges cleaner and the work look better. But I have to say that as soon as I have some time, I would like to learn to sew better to improve the quality of these small sewing jobs. I decorated a little the beautiful heart that Quick sent me and repainted some of Twyla's own shoes. And with that, the doll was ready. But what is a cotton candy seller without her store? I couldn't resist creating one of those gorgeous Cotton Candy Street bending cards. To do this, I used a box of the appropriate side that fit the doll, flat wooden sticks, glue, the wheels of an old doll's bicycle, a knitting needle, some epoxy sculpt and colored paints.
I also made a few cotton candy with normal cotton dyed in colors and I used a candle base, an old thimble and some sugar-like beads to create the machine where make cotton candy. And with that my cotton candy girl and her shop are finished. I hope you like it and if so please leave a comment, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It is something that I greatly appreciate and encourage me to continue. See you in the next video. Bye!